day 14, which means that we are only one week away from the end of this little journey together. If you're ready, let's go. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sarah K. Hoffman, AKA A Gutsy Girl. And I'm back today again for yet another story from A Gutsy Girl's Bible, A 21 Day Approach to Healing the Gut. And today we are going through day 14 and the title is called Step Outside That Box. So get yourself nice and cozy, grab something warm or cold to drink and just enjoy the message. Something most people find a little shocking about me is that I was the ice hockey goalie in high school. Now, let me be clear. I was not good, not even a little bit. I did have one spectacular save when the opposing team got a penalty shot. In other words, it was just one of their girls against me in the net. I will never in my life forget that save. She shot and I went down almost into butterfly position, but as I went down, I watched the puck fly through the air to my left side and raise my glove hand in the air to catch the puck. To this day, I can feel the tug of the puck nestled in the net of my glove, shutting out that goal. Other than that one shining moment though, I was not any good at playing goalie. So how did I end up playing goalie in the first place? After about 10 years of practicing gymnastics, as a ninth grader, I was tired of the mind games gymnastics played with me. Some of my best friends were on the hockey team, so one day I just up and quit gymnastics and headed straight for the ice rink. I started as a wing, usually left wing, and I wasn't much good at this position either, but I had a great attitude, I'll tell you that. So when our one and only goalie told the coach with only about a week's notice that she would be gone for the holiday tournament my sophomore year, and coach asked, well, does anyone want to take a shot in the net? I fearlessly raised my hand and said without hesitation, I will. I figured, what did I have to lose? I wasn't that good at playing wing anyway, and if I didn't like it, I would just return to wing after the holiday tournament. I took a leap of faith and I was given the job. I had just two practices before the tournament to learn how to wear goalie skates and put on all the bulky, unfamiliar gear. In fact, the first time I stood in full gear, I could hardly skate. I looked like Bambi, hobbling and wobbling around. Nonetheless, the very first game found me standing in front of the net, ready to take on an incredibly difficult team. I took shot after shot and watched as puck after puck flew into my net. One, two, three, five, 10, 12 goals later, and the nightmare still wasn't over. I grew weary, was totally embarrassed, and felt completely crushed. But I stayed in the net for all three periods. At the end of the game, our team had lost 19 to zero. Yes, you're reading that correctly. And yes, I did say hockey, not basketball. The score was 19 to zero. There were many tears shed that night and a lot of concerns knowing that I still had two more games to make it through that weekend. My team lost the next game 11 to two and the final game we lost just four to one. When it was over, I didn't wanna leave the position. Our goalie came back, but I stayed put as the backup goalie. I practiced the rest of the season in the net. I would be on one side of the rink and she would be on the other. I was okay with the fact that I might not play the rest of the year because I had finally found a position that worked for me. It worked for me because I loved the challenge of stopping as many pucks as I could. I'm not sure I would have stayed with hockey for the rest of high school had I not accidentally stumbled into the goalie position. If they had asked me even two weeks before the tournament about taking the goalie position on, I would have said, no way, I've never done it. I don't know how to do it and it wouldn't work for me. But I stepped outside my comfort zone and in the process, I found one of the best things that would ever happen for me throughout high school. So what does this have to do with gut healing? Everything. Years later, while working with my very first nutritionist, I had a similar experience of how helpful it can be to step outside the box sometimes. After a food intolerance test showed that I was intolerant to 22 foods, the nutritionist put me on a fairly strict, mostly vegetarian diet. It worked okay at first. The diet was far healthier than the packaged food and dairy I had been eating previously, so I did feel somewhat better. 
But after a short amount of time, I was back to feeling pretty miserable with bloat and constipation. As I started doing my own research, I stumbled upon the GAPS, Gut and Psychology Syndrome, diet by Dr. Natasha Campbell McBride. It was the opposite of what I had been doing, which was consuming nearly no animal products and minimal fat. But my gut instincts told me, make a complete 180. Do it for a little bit and see what happens. You have nothing to lose. I brought the idea to the nutritionist and she agreed it couldn't hurt to try an equal yet opposite approach. That decision, that directional change sent me on my forever healing path. For my whole life, I had been eating fat-free, sugar-free, and low-calorie foods with minimal animal-based products because that's what I believed would work. But I had to step out of that box to begin my healing journey. As with hockey, if I hadn't had the desire to try something new, I would never have stumbled upon something great. This concept is a hard one for many women to understand. The idea of swapping a vegan diet for an animal-based one, or on the flip side of changing from a heavily animal-based diet to a vegan one, is completely out of the question for them. But remember, if the diet you're currently on isn't working, you cannot fix the problem by dieting harder. Sometimes, finding the answers requires a completely opposite approach. This isn't easy, but it might just be the answer that you need to hear today. Okay, so my ask from you for today is to journal and to think about something that you keep trying and trying and trying, but it's just not working. Write about that, write it out, and then go back and think about something that would be so polar opposite, having you step outside of your own box in order to realize that perhaps another way might just be the superior way for you on your journey. I hope that you enjoyed today's message. I know it seems a little strange to think that I was a hockey goalie. Not a great one, but I loved it. Absolutely loved it. But here I am sharing all my stories just as I am. If you do not have a copy of A Gutsy Girl's Bible yet, you can get it at agutsygirlbook.com. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, and I will see you again next time.